everyone, it's Kimberly with Queen Anne Real Estate. I'm so excited to have my longtime friend Kelly here today because her and her husband have a fantastic company called Raw Finds and they are a seafood and meat distributor. We are so lucky that she brought her tuna and salmon poke cubes that are all ready to go and she's going to teach us today how to make these bowls. I've always been really intimidated about making poke at home and once COVID happened and you started to ship direct to consumer, I was so eager to, you know, order some. Because, you know, slicing the fish is a thing. You have to do it right. Yes. Your company does it and mm -hmm. prepares it all for us. So that's what we have here today. And then making the bowls is just kind of a personal thing after that, right? Absolutely. The ingredients that my family personally likes to eat um, when they have their um, poke bowls, they start with a bowl of rice. Okay. And then obviously you want the freshest ingredients um, that you can possibly get. Raw Finds creates beautiful, already pre-cut, ready-to-go bags of the different um, poke. Mm -hmm. We brought two different kinds of um, poke today. The salmon has lots of omega-3s. It's a really good protein. It's super healthy. Um, same thing, the ahi tuna. Um, it's a Hawaiian ahi tuna. It's got really, really good, rich vitamin content, and it's extremely uh, healthy, lean protein for you. So it's a really good, uh, really good product. I think all of us are very health conscious these yes, days. Yes. Yes. So um, my family likes to add cucumber, carrots. This is edamame. Some of my family likes the white onions, and some of them like the green onions. So I usually prepare both. Oh. And then avocado. Um, we also have some seaweed here that is nice to kind of put on top of it mm. sometimes. And then our sesame seeds. Okay, so let's start with the salmon. Tell me what goes into your um, salmon poke recipe. Okay, I'm not much of a measurer. I tend to just squirt and dust it all up and me too. Glug and let's do it. Just go for it. Yeah. It, it, who wants to measure? No, right? Nobody. All right. So um, the first thing it's going to be it's a mayo-based sriracha sauce. So we're just okay. going to do about two tablespoons. Okay. And then we're going to add about a tablespoon of sriracha. Okay. Then we're going to put in some soy sauce. These are some little seaweed mm -hmm. and just kind of rip it up and put it into the sauce. Ooh, that's a cool tip. I've never done that right into the sauce. Yep. Then it gets really coated yeah. before you put it on the fish. Some sesame seeds. We're also going to add some green onions. Okay. A little bit of those. Each of those. Yep. And a little bit of lemon juice. Delicious. Mm -hmm. We're going to mix it together. Okay. Okay, now that that's all mixed up, we're going to go ahead and add it to our salmon. All right, now we're just going to toss it. That looks gorgeous. So delicious. You see how quick and easy that was? I know, awesome. So let's set that aside and we're going to go ahead and do the ahi now. Okay, great. Um, we're going to take a quarter cup of soy sauce. And remember, I'm a glugger, so we're yeah. just going to kind of... Eyeball it. Eyeball it, mm -hmm. exactly. We're going to add about um, two teaspoons of rice wine vinegar. Okay. Two oh. teaspoons of our sesame oil. A pinch of red pepper flakes. Or in our case, two pinches. <laughs> <laughs> a little squeeze of lemon. Okay. Some green onions. I'm gonna have uh, you- Ginger. Mm -hmm. So this is my little trick with ginger. You just take the back of a spoon and you can grate it just real easy like this. And it saves a lot of the meat. If you use a peeler, a lot of times you take so much of it away. So just do that real quick. That's a great trick. I had never done that before. Yeah. Toss it in there. Yeah. Perfect. All right, we're just gonna stir it all together. Okay, so now that we have our sauce ready to go, mm -hmm. we're just going to put it on top of the ahi and give it a stir. Well, that was super easy and the stove wasn't touched one time, so. Favorite part? Favorite part. <laughs> Okay, and so you just kind of set this all out and let your family just kind of make their own bowls, right? Yes, everyone kind of has their own tastes and things that they like and prefer, so we let everybody just kind of mix and do what they want to do. Well, let's do it. Okay, sounds good. Oh, oh. You get one too. Oh, I get one too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is a contest. Which one looks better? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a toss-up. It's a, it's a toss-up. 
Thank you so much for coming, Kelly. Thank I'm you. so excited to make my next order with Raw Finds. And I'll make sure I um, put the link on the site for everyone to be able to order. But this time I'm adding some steaks and those giant king crab legs. You guys do everything. We do. It's beautiful. And to get it direct from the distributor is a real treat because I really have never seen the quality that you um, provide in stores, in any store. So thank you for what you do. So head on over to seattleluxhomes.com for the full recipe. And I hope that you can enjoy making some great poke bowls with some great friends and have a fantastic summer.